The concept of the mole is something students around the world struggle with. By the end of this video, you should have a pretty solid understanding of the mole and how it's used in chemistry. See, a big part of the problem is that the mole can be thought of in two different ways, and nobody tells you this. The mole can be used to count the very small, things like atoms and molecules. We call these particles. And it can be used for the very large, things that we can see and sense, like mass and volume. The mole is useful because it lets us connect and move between these two worlds, the micro and the macro. This is an important idea in chemistry, and as a student, you'll work a lot of problems converting between molecules, moles, and grams. One way to visualize the most common conversions that you'll need to do as a chemistry student is to use something called the mole map. Just like our earlier visual, you can see that the mole is at the center and allows us to convert from things like mass and volume to the very small, counting particles, molecules, and atoms. So here's a pretty typical problem. How many molecules are there in 36.04 grams of H2O? To solve the problem, we have grams. We can change grams to moles. And then once we have moles, we can change that to particles, molecules of water. Again, the mole is our bridge between the micro and the macro. The idea of particles and mass is actually built right into the periodic table. The table, it lists the mass of one mole of each element. For example, one mole of carbon, that's 12.01 grams. One mole of helium, 4.00 grams. We can find the molar mass of a molecule by adding up the individual masses for each element. This is called the molar mass, which we use when we convert from moles to grams. Pause and find the molar mass for SO2. So what exactly is the mole? The mole, it's the official SI unit for amount of substance. And it's just a unit, like mass has a unit of grams or distance has a unit of the meter. So the mole itself really isn't what we're interested in. What we're interested in is the idea of the amount of substance. The mole, it's just the unit. The idea is the amount of substance. The definition of the mole has changed over time. The current definition has the mole as the amount of substance that contains exactly 6.02 and some numbers times 10 to the 23rd particles. You might know this as Avogadro's constant. So we know the mole is the bridge between the micro and the macro, counting particles and things like mass and volume. But let's relate it to a chemical equation. So here we have the formation of water from hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. We could balance the equation like this. And we can think of the coefficients as moles. In fact, we think of them as a mole ratio. So we have two moles of H2 plus one mole of O2. We get two moles of H2O. And we can use this ratio to solve more complex stoichiometry problems. To wrap up, the mole helps us work with mass, molecules, and balanced equations. Now that you have the big picture, you need to learn the mechanics of converting between moles to grams and using the mole ratio with balanced equations. There are links in the description of this video to help you do this. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.